here we go so um really really nice to hear that you guys like my th three levels of a uh, um song you know playing styles all that and so this time i want to do tatsuro yamashita song called sparkle and really really nice song and um somebody asked me what's the sim significant about japanese uh, pop music especially uh, 80s steep pop and um interesting this is a key of e i think but a lot of song they don't stuff one they go stuff from different um chords just because if you give one which is you know center key and then just kind of end happy sound you know and a lot of songs has a little bit sentimental like a feeling a uh, little bit like sadness in it you know it's almost like a story it's a little bit happiness a little bit sadness you know and everything in it so that's the kind of effect okay so let's listen so I'll, you know give you exactly oh sorry oops here you go So this is the first part. Woo, nice. 82. You see so the so the first level of you know transcribing is chords that you hear you have to really understand so this is really a major seven and then Tatsuro Yamashita he used Telecaster and I heard I heard a little rumor that at the studio, he took fifth and sixth string out and he plays the top four string. Makes sense because you want to get the cleanest sound, you know? So, but this case, I play like this. Root, major third, fifth, and major seventh, okay? From fourth string. Do mi so te, right? Do mi so ti, ha <laughs> I lied. Like that, okay? Nah. The next chord, a lot of people play like this, almost a C sharp minor 11 type of thing. Looks like this. Okay. But, bass really, if you listen bass, bass goes to G sharp. So, choices, like, you can think like, you know, four major, because key is E, you know, four major, then, See, three minor gives a little sad, you know, kind of a wandering. So, Japanese song has a lot of those kind of sadness in it. Three minor, very sad. But this case, right, sounds like a little bit like, you know, E. E over G sharp, which is third. Just in case, this is my 1967 
ES-335. Short story, I bought a new 335 when I was 16, probably 16. I worked, delivered a newspaper. So that's how I paid uh, gear, you know. So I bought first one. It's like eight, probably 81, 82 and has a switch, you know, I, you know, and um, I play a lot, maybe a year or two, but then nothing changes. It's kind of stiff, always stiff. I break a lot of strings, it's stiff, you know. And one day at the music store, I saw this one. And I was like, okay. And the store salesman guy says, you can play. And I played it. And I think nines was on a string, you know, guitar and it's really easy to play. And something about the feel, it's really different, a little sweeter. Sweeter, but you can cut through all the uh, in top end and all that. I, I, I can't really uh, understand back then when I was 16. But I understood something really different. So I ended up, new 335 that I bought, I trade in with this one. And I I did somehow. So ended up, I pay, obviously, um, easy, easy calculation. I said around like 2000, 20, say like 2100, I bought a new one. Trading 1300. And this was about 4200 back then. And, but more than that, probably you no, know, the yen exchange and all that. But anyway, give it kind of a simple like that. And it ended up at about 2800 like that I had to pay. So two years I had to work again, you know. And But here we go. This is a great experiment, uh, ex, ex, experience, experience about having real great vintage guitar. So this really changed my life and I still play. But reason I don't play 335 because I am huge fan of Larry Carlton. So if I play this one, somebody will say, sounds like a Larry Carlton because that's how I used to play. So I had to change. So I put away, I mean, I play once in a while, but I didn't play. But now I think I have my own sound finally. So um, I think I can play this one too. Yes. Okay. So that, you know, that intro. Now here. Almost like this. E. So that I so he, listen carefully. So this is a one part. See the sound like E over G sharp. Then other guitar. Timeless, amazing music. What's this? What's this? What is this? What is this? So as a musician, your job is listen to music, you have to figure it out. And if first time, yes, you don't know what to do, you don't know what chords. So experience, experience, you know. <laughs> I can really say well, but okay. So check this out, right? So this song. This is a level two, you have to understand this part. Okay, here we go. So 
So when you when you play music, you have to really into you really really be part of music. So sometimes you know we all make fun of like things like oh don't you know don't noodling or don't jam. But jam means a lot of things you know. But this case I'm jamming with a real musician and I I want I'm really part of the band. That's what I'm feeling you know. Da 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 da. So this one, again, really difficult looking, but 6th fret, 4th, 6th, and 7th. So this is the 3rd bass. That's like a triad. The 3rd. Da, 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 mm, then, now the minor six or D9. Uh, it's not in tune, but that's okay. Guitar never in tune. <laughs> so this is like a G over G sharp. Then, then finally, I'm happy because that's one. Da, 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 but fifth bass. You know, got a gospel. Nice. This is a, um, I would say, B flat or A sharp, B flat. I would say B flat, minor 7 flat 5. Then, 2 5. In F sharp minor 7. And what we'll, we'll do more very simple chords and stuff but just you know this is a three levels understand intro one level intro has to be you know you have to understand now this is a you know more like a theme and on a bridge and everything include right so you get the level two done great congratulations <laughs> Same thing, but F sharp bass, B. F sharp, B. So same chord. So, 
you see the introduction, you know. Okay, and then last third third level is really understand F sharp. So So, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. So then, what happened is, I have RC three, and today, I was just kind of a hmm. Can I do something? So let me press this one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That's my my karaoke. just made up so that 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 solo is just you know it's a uh, just extra but uh, pretty much melody like this one so you can practice rhythm guitar and two parts 
And then maybe I put the kanji base in it. So, you know, it's not the greatest, but just like I made up so quickly. So just listen to the parts, right? So this part, bass. Difficult part is, you know, making loop with this one. Cha, 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 cha. Like almost like kuikomu. It's like pushing, you know, syncopation, ah, like this. But loop, you can't do that, you know, downbeat. So I play downbeat. It's a little bit strange, a little bit, not exactly the song, but that's okay. But it was what, so much. Downbeat. Ah. I made a short. Uh, <laughs> time is not great. Sorry about that. Then I put a little bit like a delay in it. Uh, Sit up a little bit. Too much boost. <laughs> Balance is bad. But then tube screamer. Eleven o'clock. I don't know how long I play, maybe a little too much. But again, thank you, thank you so much, everyone. And uh, this channel, I think it's getting better because of you, because conversation we have and great comments. Thank you so much. So if, just tell me, what, what, what do you think about this one? Three levels of a sparkle. You liked it? If you like it, I keep going. All right. And maybe more 335 a little bit more gibson you know something like that okay see you soon